There is this helicopter chase scene near the beginning of Mission Impossible 3, where they are flying between the spinning blades of a wind farm, and amidst all the action and falling debris, we are shown on the ground below, Angora goats. And I remember thinking to myself, why are we being shown goats? A movie, especially a good movie, is a meditation on a theme. From the initial idea all the way down to final edits. And it can take years and lots of money to put a movie together. So filmmakers aren't going to waste time and money on something that's not important for the, for the story. In the book Storyworthy by Matthew Dix, it says, Every great story ever told is essentially about a five second moment in the life of a human being. And the purpose of the story is to bring that moment to the greatest clarity possible. He uses the movie Jurassic Park as an example and points out that the dinosaurs are exciting and they raise the stakes, but the real story, the human story, is about a paleontologist named Alan Grant and his relationship with paleobotanist Ellie Sattler. Their relationship is stuck because they disagree on having children. I mean, what's so wrong with kids? Oh, yeah, they look they're noisy, they're messy, they're expensive. The five second moment comes much later after Grant and two children are thrust into the wilds of Jurassic Park, where he risks his life repeatedly to protect these children. They take shelter for the night in a large tree where they talk and laugh for a few minutes and eventually fall asleep in his arms. He fills the claw in his pocket and pulls it out, that same claw that he used to basically threaten a child earlier. Now he tosses it aside, letting it fall to the ground. And along with it, we get the sense that he also drops his dislike for children. He is a changed man. And the rest of the movie is about escaping the island, but the five second moment has already occurred. The biggest moment of transformation has almost imperceptibly changed not only Dr. Grant, but us, the audience. So the first way I find the meaning of a movie is to look at which character experiences the biggest internal change, the five second moment, and figure out what that transformation was really all about. A more politically minded friend of mine, where I saw spiritual messages and everything, he saw political messages and everything. Yes, guns kill. And he taught me to ask myself which political group a main character may represent. Or even, which country do they represent? He's looking at you, kid. Now, it was a shift for me to think this way. The war is still coming, Charles, and I intend to fight it. But it has helped me to figure out the theme in certain films. And I will always be there, old friend. Let's get back to the goats. <laughs> good movies, good movies don't show you random things for no reason. It may seem like there's no reason, but there is a reason. The location, the background, the lighting, it is all scripted and planned and rehearsed. But I can hear you saying, what about mistakes, movie flubs, and characters going off script? For example, This was, according to Dustin Hoffman, not scripted, but a reaction in character to a real taxi driver almost hitting him. And it ended up in the movie. And this is true. Accidents and unscripted things happen in every movie. But that doesn't mean that the editor and film director have to use that take. They can just use a different take. And so if it's in the movie, it's because they chose it to be in the movie. When I saw the goats, I thought, why go through all the hassle to have goats on screen for a few seconds? Could they represent something? And as I thought about this, I remembered that in ancient times, goats were commonly used in religious sacrifices. And so I watched the rest of the movie with this in mind. Families, everything. And sure enough, I love you. sacrifice is, is a theme of the movie. I grew up watching and loving the movie Clue. But it wasn't until recently that I considered its meaning. In the movie, there is an inscription on the fireplace that I hadn't thought much of. It's all movie set. It built on stage 16, I think it was, at Paramount. But now, knowing that the interior of the house was built specifically for the movie, you realize... And to make a long story short, too late! It was planned. It is a clue to the, to the meaning of clue and its anti-McCarthyism message. Communism was just a red herring. There's still one thing I don't understand. One thing. Number five. Watch for multiple characters dealing with similar issues. Orphan. 
in different ways. Hey, Dad. What are the issues, and what do the characters' reactions to those issues teach us? Put on Cywar up. Sing it loud. Music can be another clue. Music doesn't just happen to be there. It's chosen. And so why was that song chosen for that moment? Is it being used ironically? Does it tell us something about the character? Or how they're feeling? Does it reflect someone's thoughts? Who's hearing voices? Ray is. Not in the fields. No, I'm not. Notice the words. <laughs> and the timing of the words in relation to the movie. Take note of the details. Everything was planned, or at least approved, to be in the movie exactly how it is, to tell that five second moment. And that is the moral of the story. What movie should we cover next? Let me know in the comments below. It, it, the, f it, flame, flames, flames on the side of my face. Thanks. Talk to you next time.